Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to tell you about three fundamental skills that you must be good at to have a better career or life in general. Irrespective of the company you work for, these are the skills you should know even before you start working or earning. I know, I know, many of you are just trying for a job or waiting for a job, but you can use this waiting time in more constructive ways and develop these three skills. Confession time. Truth to be told, I myself and many of my colleagues have been guilty of not taking these things seriously at the beginning of our career. Nonetheless, I don't want any of my viewers or juniors to make these mistakes. So coming straight to the skill number one, communication and presentation skill. I cannot tell you enough how important these skills are. You know, excellent communication skill is the most, yes, the most rewarding quality one can have. This will help you in whatever you do in your life. According to a study, almost half of the jobs will be gone in next 25 years. So someone's technical knowledge in any specific area may not stay relevant in future, but your communication skill is going to help you very far in your life. In my experience, I've seen leaders or bosses are not essentially very strong as far as their technical knowledge is concerned but they are good communicators for sure i've seen in a team an employee with a very good presentation skill immediately gets highlighted and takes away almost all the credit even when other team members are equally good so you may be very hard working in your team but if you don't speak well in big forums if you don't make your presence fail you will not get noticed plus in long run it builds your image whether you are a team leader or just a follower now presentation which is a form of public speaking requires a bit of confidence most of us try to avoid it because it requires a lot of guts to fight our own insecurities and go on to the stage and stand in front of large audience right but i must tell you as a junior or as a beginner you must grab any opportunity to give a presentation because when you grow as a senior it becomes all the more difficult because you get too conscious about making mistakes in public you start thinking that if i make a mistake what will my juniors think so you should start as early as possible you must have seen those who are from good schooling background or those who started participating in debates speech group discussions right from their school or college days they generally come up as more confident person so if you haven't already started why to delay it further now here is a pro tip if you are just a beginner you may start with technical presentation because it is more structured and strictly revolves around the area of your work so you will surely be comfortable while talking about a topic even on public platform because you know it well right and one more thing for technical presentation people generally don't judge you on the way you speak because it's mostly about the content on the other hand for relatively tougher public speaking opportunities like anchoring or moderating a discussion you should try gradually upgrade yourself to that level because it requires you to have a bit more confidence because you have because you are supposed to be more crowd friendly spontaneous and pumping energy into audience to keep the overall mood high you never know some unscripted situation may arise during an event right now education skill has two parts other than the oratory skill there is another aspect to it and that is your presentation slide making skill this is normally ignored or underrated as people think only contents matter so they dump everything on slide and simply read it out but believe me how content is uh, shown on slide also matters a lot as it shows how nicely you have understood the concept and how much seriously you have taken your presentation i mean how much effort you have put into making it right so you should learn that too and that leads me to the next skill set you should learn microsoft office software you should learn basic softwares like microsoft office namely powerpoint excel word etc now some of you may be thinking who doesn't know all these software they are very basic i know it you may be right to some extent but i know many person they don't know it at least thoroughly plus these softwares are quite tricky what do i mean by that the thing is these softwares are very easy to start learning so even a beginner thinks that e or c knows it very well that is far from reality there is always a lot to learn and improve when you start knowing it deeply your efficiency and output will improve drastically for example after learning powerpoint just for an hour anybody can make a presentation slide but making a really impressive presentation slide in short time even you will agree it requires some genuine skill and practice 
right so so whichever company you may work for your area of work will have some dedicated software that you will anyway be taught during your training but office softwares will always be required consider this for handling data or plotting or just transferring data to your colleague you'll require excel to show progress or summary of your project you will have to give presentation to your colleague or boss so you'll need powerpoint right and needless to say all the reports are generally made in word nowadays as we are talking about digital india and almost all the documents are getting digital people expect you have to have better formatting skill than your handwriting skill yeah that's true. now for those who already know it uh, to some extent i would call them advanced users and if they are ready to try even harder you should start learning bit of coding or programming you see uh nowadays uh, with the new education policy government is pushing coding skill at such an early stage of uh, academic life you can imagine what will be the situation in decades to come so if you can i would recommend you to learn coding behind microsoft products those are called macros because i know it so i can assure you they are very easy to learn you also can learn it it will improve your data handling capabilities many fold literally many fold by introducing bit of automation in everything that you do third skill set knowledge to manage your personal finance see all your life till now you have studied well sat in many competitive exams to get a job and earn money eventually right so don't you think you should be capable of handling your hard earned money in best possible manner because nobody can care about your money more than you right until unless you are from a business family it is very likely it is very likely that you wouldn't have very good understanding of money because our syllabus doesn't teach those stuff now some of you may be thinking sir i am trying to get a job and waiting for a job i don't have money to invest see i am talking about educating yourself and growing your understanding of money so that when you get the money you will be ready to use it in best way possible believe me it takes some time but it's not that complicated as we normally think you just have to start and with time you learn adequately at least good enough for yourself now here is a lot like communication skill if you start late you will regret it later on that i can assure you when we get our first salary we think this is just a beginning i have enough time to invest later on but that's where even i was mistaken so if you start early power of compounding will get you much more by the end of your investment period basically i want to say with proper knowledge of personal finance you will be able to use your money in best possible manner in in place of just relying on somebody or just putting your money into very very conservative investment instruments like insurance policy fd or just saving account see it becomes all the more important because you know nowadays jobs are getting increasingly private and contractual so job security is vanishing so unlike earlier days when people had pension after retirement now you yourself have to be wise enough to secure your financial future from the day you get your first salary right thank you for watching which one of these three skills you are going to work on please let me know in the comment good luck jai hind